news, guys. The NHL are going to the Olympics. Let's go! Yes! Woohoo! Now, if COVID messes everything up, but as it stands right now, they're going to Beijing, baby. And it's going to be so much fun. And this might be the dream team of like Canadian hockey history, honestly. Yeah. I can't, oh. I can't be more happy to be wrong about something. So before we get there, then we're going to look at the athletics projections for some of the rosters for the international okay. teams. Uh, Does it do, also have Nazem Kadri and Philip Dano on it? I, it doesn't. It doesn't even they didn't have Jared Spurgeon. I'm like, cool. And I'll, I'll get into that because it seems to be everyone thinks they're going to bring seven offensive defensemen and have no balance because you know what? Systems don't matter to hockey Canada, idiot. No, no. <laughs> anyway. So this is a statement from Bill Daly, Deputy Commissioner. Gary Bettman didn't say anything because, you know, this statement speaks volumes. So I remember I said this to Will Baldwin. A minute later, I saw his tweet about it. I'm like, okay. So this is from Bill Daly. Quote, we understand how passionately NHL players feel about representing and competing for their country. We are very pleased that we were able to conclude uh, arrangements that will allow them to resume best on best competition of the Olympics stage. Like talk about like, we're happy. Could you not have just as well put in there? We're happy for the fans. Like, no. like it's just such a like, okay, we're great. It, it really feels like you had to drag that statement out of them. It's just, you couldn't even, even pretended to be happy about it. Like what a, what an actual butthurt league they are. It's so disappointing. I don't. I I have a feeling they weren't expecting the <laughs> the, the IOS or the double IHF to to agree to their terms, and this kind of just came out of nowhere. And they're like, "Damn it! Now, okay, you got your how, insurance. Like, how are we supposed to say? How are we supposed to say no <laughs> when you're literally giving us what we wanted? Like, it's it couldn't be more clear to to someone on the outside that the NHL does not want to go to the Olympics. Like, mm-hmm. it couldn't be." more clear i think like sure you can say oh you know they released the schedule with the olympic break yeah to make it look like they might go to the olympics when we all know they do not want to go it's it's weird again like what we've mentioned before it's just it feels like they're all about the immediate gains and not really the overall influence of the game where again every other league does this you know i mean like the world baseball classic the uh, olympics for basketball um, you can name other ones. And I think hockey is still in that situation. It's like, no, you need this. You need to expand. Like, did you see what happened during COVID in terms of revenue? Have you looked at the list of what teams are making money and which ones are not? This is a situation where you have to go. I, I think Will said it perfectly last episode. The, the NHL is interested in growing the league, not interested in growing the sport. That's mm-hmm. the best quote that's ever come out of the show, by the way. I'm yeah. so struck yeah. by how good that was. Yeah, that was the best quote. Oh, damn it, Will. How dare you? But, you know, it's it's just, it's it, it, it made me genuinely annoyed. Like, it really annoyed me saying that. And, you know, it just, just, you just hate everything, Gary. You just really don't like us. Okay. So, The Athletic, they have released their Olympic, the Olympic staffs roster. And I have a real, by the way, cover picture, Carrie Price, love to say it. Okay, Team Canada. Goalies, price. Oh, do you want to share it or no? Oh, yeah, it's that's up to you. It's up to you. Yeah, okay. All right. Or you could just go read it <clears throat> on the athletic and support them. Exactly. We're good with that, but we can, we can, no, share. we're giving them free content by streaming a, uh, okay. We're not going to do every, we're not going to do every team, okay. We're not going to yeah. be that cheeky about it. Okay. 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 We're going to do the ones that matter, aka, okay? no, no Finland. Sorry. Um, <gasps> No, no US, no US. You have a you have a vendetta against Finland right now oh, yeah. after what happened this Saturday. No, I just don't I don't no, it's just Finland. Okay. Okay. Uh the goalies. This is ridiculous, by the way. Uh Carey Price, pretty good. I'm a fan. Uh Mark Andre Fleury, who I forget is a Chicago Blackhawk, and that <laughs> logo is not right. The third goalie is Jordan Bennington, they've projected. I don't like it. No. I don't like it at all. I think we all had Darcy Kemper. I had Carter Hart. Oh, yes, yes. I had Carter. like five goalies on mine. Yeah, Remember that? Daniel, Daniel I had uh, Mackenzie count. Blackwood there as well. <laughs> Daniel and doesn't count. Carter Hart. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the third goalie is basically just whoever else is playing well. Mike right. Smith. Exactly. He should come back. Stop. I mean, no, no but. Absolutely I mean, not. It's funny if Mike Smith, if the Olympics had been last sort of winter when Smith was playing well, he might have he might have made it. Yeah. 
You shouldn't be, but um, the defense, I think they have this depth chart wise. So they have, which is, I'm going to question one of these decisions. Bob Gardner won't be happy with me about. So first they have McCarr, uh, then they have Petrangelo, Ekblad, then Dougie Hamilton. Uh, the left side, Chikorin, Theodore, Pellick, and Morgan Riley. No Shabbat. Yeah. And no Jared Spurgeon. I only see one defense, one defenseman who can play defense there. And that, uh, okay, well, it's, it, it, yeah, Pellick. The others are good. Like, like here's so here's the argument I have, right? To me, the locks on this team are McCarr, Hamilton, and Petrangelo. Because Petrangelo can do it all. Dougie can do it all. McCarr is not the best defensively, but he's not awful. But he's so um, good offensively. Yeah. yeah. It outweighs it. So those are the three locks. The two guys I have that aren't locks, but they're probably going to make it, are like Theodore and Ekblad. So everyone else, the way I kind of have the Olympic thought in my head, right, is whatever that bottom pairing looks like is, like, Team Canada are not, a, they don't need scoring. We're going to get to the forwards. Like, I think they need to balance that with some actual defensive gusto. And that's why I'm kind of mad that they didn't put here Jared Spurgeon. Maybe I'm just super on it, but you have two offensive guys with Morgan Riley and Jacob Chickering, and, and whatever, have the debate. You throw Shabbat in there, any of those guys can make it. Flip a coin, who cares, right? Whoever of them is having the best year, it doesn't matter. But it's just like, okay, so you have Pellick? I like Pellick, but I don't know. I just don't like the disrespect to Jared Spurgeon. Maybe I'm just super dedicated to that that pick but it's just there just seemed to be like no respect and may, maybe it's because canada hate like having too many rides too many yeah rides, but it, it's still it's like just go best player available at this point and yes that goes against my denial thing it was a meme shut up mm-hmm. remember sorry i'm going back world cup of hockey i've mentioned this so many times remember alex petrangelo played on the left side for mike babcock That's to allow brent burns to play the right side Listen, he does like to do that sometimes, okay? Because he did play Ron Hainsey on the right for two years. So th- this is where it gets really silly. Okay. So the forwards. <laughs> Sidney Crosby, Nathan McKinnon, and Connor McDavid. Oh, and by the way, there's always Jonathan Huberto, Brad Marchand, Pat Bergeron, Mark Stone, Brayton Point, Matt Barzell, John Tavares, Ryan O'Reilly, Mitch Marner, Sean Couture, Mark Schneidlin. They don't have Bo Horvat on this team. They don't have Phil No, Makes me sad. No Phil to know. Um, but my goodness. My absolute goodness. Like, like honestly, you, you think about that. The fourth highest scorer in the league. And I want to say Tavares was second in goal two, three years ago yeah. in goals. Are your fourth line and the Conn Smythe winner from a few years ago as well is in your fourth line. The best defensive winger in the league is on your third line. (laughs) Use the right words there, Alex. You knew what I was going to do there. The best playoff performer of the past like two years, Braden Point is your third line center. Like, what am I looking at here? What McKinnon and Crosby, sorry, McKinnon and, and McDavid on the first line too is just like, how do you catch them? You don't exactly. That's simple. That I think, like forward wise, again, it doesn't matter. This team is so stacked; it's hilarious. Again, no Horvats there. I wonder if they have some of the other um, names that are just sort of out there as as. Um, oh yeah, people mentioning the the Hyman Kunit stuff. Uh, guys like Mackenzie Weger being out, Pulak, Devon Taves. Weger is another one. I've been looking a lot about Mackenzie Weger's advanced stats. Um, Oh, that's a good player. Yeah. That's a very, very good player. Yes. Shall we look at the states? Yeah. Uh, before we go, I'd like the example they used of Adam Pellick, the next Mark Edward Vlasic. I love that one. This is true. Um, I say we look at the states, and then what other, we'll, we'll look at one more team after that. What do you guys? What do you guys? Russia, or Latvia. whatever they're going to be called. Okay. Let's, I don't think Latvia is on the team, so we'll, we'll go Russia. <laughs> Okay, the Americans. I took one look at this roster and I thought, okay, there's no way Canada should lose. No offense, but uh, the goalies, which is hilariously stacked, actually. They actually have my, like better goalie depth than Canada. Hellebuck, Gibson, and Demko. Daniel feels very disrespected right yeah. now. Yeah, John Gibson should be first. Yeah. 
I mean, yeah, yeah, you know. Um, the defense, Adam Fox, cool. McAvoy, cool. Carlson, uh, John, can't really defend. Jeff Petrie, can't really defend. That's fine. Unless um, he's an EA, then he can defend. Yeah. Then, he, then he's a defensive. I do like <laughs> seeing Petrie, by the way, as, as one of the extra guys here. That makes me really, really happy. Um, McDonough, really good. Slavin, really, really good. Seth Jones, you're like, yeah, okay. He's on the left side. Oh my God. And then Quentin Hughes is there. I don't think you can really argue with that. It's not as good as Canada's, no. but it's still solid. I'm personally offended that Quinn Hughes isn't in the top six. Yeah. Same here. But that's just me. Like, so let's like, look at this McDonough, I think could make Canada. Like, I think he is almost like the left-handed Spurgeon in this scenario. Mm-hmm. Fox might not make team Canada, but he should. McAvoy, I don't think, would make Team Canada. Uh, Slavin's kind of the same thing as McDonough, I'd say. Jones wouldn't make Team Canada. Carlson, Hughes, and Petrie might not make Team Canada. Or Hughes is, of those four guys, the closest to making it. Yeah, mm-hmm. I like, agree. It, Jeff Petrie is like the right-handed version of Shabbat, Chickering, and, and Roy, Riley. It's, it's hilarious. Is it unfair of me to say I'd rather have Quinn Hughes in the lineup than Seth Jones? No, 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 not at all. I'd, I, I'd agree to that one because I, I, I would do that like in a heartbeat. Imagine Hughes like not having to be the only guy that you put all the weight in the world on. Exactly. Uh, the forwards. The first line is projected to be Max Pacioretty, Austin Matthews, and Patrick Kane. That's all right. It's pretty balanced. It's pretty nasty. I mean, you know, Pacioretty. Okay. Cool. I mean, you know, he won't score, but well, I mean, he'll if score in the round single, robin games. It's a big one. Exactly. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. He will. I, I like, like, first off, like, if you're, if, if Pacioretty takes a shot anytime Matthews is open, he gets benched. Yeah. Let's get that straight. Yeah, uh, the yeah. second line is is pretty all right. Uh, Jack Eichel with Alex DeBrincat and Matthew Kachuk. That's pretty nasty. To bring Cat and Eichel is a pretty nasty combo. I like that. The third line is kind of confusing to me. So Brady Kachuk, Kachuk is projected to be on here. JT Miller on the wing. And Joe Bavelski, Captain Canada, is still going strong. I mean, Captain, Captain America. America. I said Captain Canada, didn't I? You did. Yeah. You did. That's a shame. Yeah, I was about to say Captain USA. I'm like, wait, that doesn't sound right. No, no, no. Captain America. Captain America. Whatever you want to call him. And then the fourth line is like, okay, Gensel's on your fourth line. Dylan Larkin's fine. And then Brian Rust. And then and the extras are Nelson and Johnny Goudreau behind Brian Rust. I would... Oh my I'd way, flip I would. Pavelski and Larkin, to be honest. Forget them. Like, Goudreau's would, not in the main lineup. Yeah, that's, that's kind of – I don't know if I agree with that. Like, I, we, we can have our discussion about Johnny Goudreau. We've had it plenty of times before. But, like, I, he's, he's, he's better than Brian Rust. Can, can we talk about – so it's like, okay. So let, let's just – let's talk here. Patrick will score in the – will round robin. Yeah. Matthews will score until it's, like, a metal game. He's leaves the memes. Yeah. Kane will do stuff. Debrincat, he's all right. Okay. Eichel, I mean, you know, he hasn't played in the playoffs before. Actually, crap. If you look at this, um, the big wigs on the States hasn't had a deep playoff run. Patch Reddy's bad at the playoffs. Kane's a bit different, but he's older. Debrincat hasn't had a deep run. Eichel hasn't made it. The Flames and Kachuk. I mean, you know, uh, the other Kachuk's on the Flames. Pavelski's a bottom six player at this point. JT Miller. Okay, fair enough. I mean, their most experienced guys are like Gensel and Rust. That's not – and Goudreau, who's bad in, in high-pressure situation. It's John anyway. Carlson. Oh, no, on the wing, sorry. Yeah, but I mean, pavelski has been to the finals twice. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. But, like, in the big-case scenario, like, I get Kane, but, like, I can see Sidney Crosby being the guy at, at any point in that tour, and I can see it with, with uh, McDavid, with McKinnon. I just I see the states as a very flawed roster, and where's Phil Kessel? I would have Phil Kessel over Brian Rust. Hot Same take. Here, I don't yeah. know if that's a hot. I don't know if that's no, a that's hot, not hot take. take. I like that, that one. I love Phil Kessel. Phil Kessel is my guy. Um, I would um, just I mean, like Brock Nelson too. Like where's Phil? I yeah. I would 
So I'd make a couple changes to that lineup. Oh, I just really, yeah, Brock Besser's not on this team. So on extra players, we debated the variety. So they chose not to put on. This makes a lot of sense all of a sudden. So they don't have Besser. They don't have Trocheck, whatever. He could probably be better, like in, in Pavelski, maybe. Wheeler, Kyle Connor. Oh, whoa, that was a huge one. Kyle um, Connor? They don't have. <laughs> For the physicality, that's why we leaned Larkin. Man, this is the World Cup of Hockey roster, basically. But instead, it's Rust instead of Applicator. What am I looking at? They debated about Ryan Suter. Oh, my gosh. Zach Rowenski not on this team. I would definitely play. Um, I-, I like both Kachuks being on this team. Like, I, I get Ottawa yeah. and all that. I just, man, I could see two really nasty lines if they, if they did this in this way. Maybe I'm thinking in terms of... Um, EA, like the GM mode, but I don't care. Like, imagine Kachuk, Matthew Kachuk, Matthews, Demrinkat, and then Brady Kachuk, Jack Eichel, and Patrick Kane. Or if you want to piss off Sidney Crosby, you you go sign, you go see, you go find if, if Dubinsky wants to come back from his ailing retirement, you put the Kajuks on his wings, and then you just swarm Sid with the biggest <sighs> pass ever. And it would be hilarious. Yeah. Oh man, yeah, I would just throw the Kachucks together and let them do what they want. I would. That uh, that would be my first option, but clearly, I guess they don't want to do that. The Bash Brothers. I, this is a this is a, a questionable roster. Okay, we won't look at Sweden. Uh, we'll look at the Olympic. Sorry, the the Russian Olympic Union. I thought they were the Olympic athletes, athletes from Russia. Russia. Yeah, <laughs> I, I don't know. Maybe they changed so, it. So the big problem looking at Russia is you're going to be like, why is Anisimov the second line center? And you're like, oh no, Kuznetsov is suspended. Yeah, he can't play for Cause Russia. Because of the cocaine or the, the white substance that appears to be. Yes. Uh, so in net, uh, this is pretty impressive, you got to admit. Uh, Shesterkin, Varlamov, and oh my there, that's Andre Vasilevsky. <laughs> that's a problem. On defense... This is kind of funny. Uh, Vladislav Gabrikov, uh, Sergachev, Provorov. I just listen to how many times I say of. So Varlamov, the goaltender. Defense, Gabrikov, Provorov, Zadorov, Orlov, Nestorov, Romanov, and then Artem Zub. Because Zub. <laughs> and then you know, Sergachev. Uh, the Russian defense is alarming. AK, how the heck is Alex Romanov on there? <laughs> how did that happen? Yeah, because like I remember the last Olympics, like not the last Olympics, but like Andre Markov used to be like their guy in terms of anchoring it. And I miss him. Yeah, that's uh, this is the aftermath of it. Like it's it's weird to see, but it's promising in terms of the youth, I think, the, or of young the guys. The left side is wicked. <laughs> like yeah. La Provorov Sergachev. But then you're like, oh, Art and Zub and Nikita's door. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. That's weird. Uh the forward group. As always, is pretty stacked. And what's really oh no, Terra saying was the extra. I didn't think I saw him for a second there. The first line is Malkin, Panarin, Kucherov. That's disgusting. If Malkin is healthy, uh, Radulov, <laughs> and Yisimov, Kaprizov, <laughs> Svechnikov, Nemestikov, <laughs> um, Shipchov. But anyway, sorry. Yeah. Then the second line is Ovechkin, Radulov, and Yisimov. Uh, third line, Nemestikov, Pavel Bitsnevich, Kirill Kaprizov. The fourth line, Andrei Svechnikov, Vladislav Kamenev, uh, Valery Nikushkin. And the extra guys are Vladimir Tarasenko. And remember Vadim Sipichov. I do remember yeah. him. He's like one of the first guys to be signed by Vegas, I remember. Yeah. It's a it's an interesting roster, I guess. Like they just, uh, their greatest strength is goaltending. Or that's that's what it is. Like it's just they're just not deep. They yeah. can they, they can give you trouble. Like For they sure. can we like we know they can score. They've got like uh, I wonder like if they almost mirror Tampa Bay to me in like the form of like their left side of their defense is wicked good and the right side is like okay, but the left side will carry it. It's yeah, just no. weird. Like not to mention here's Here's what you got to think about too, right? Is what's funny about I think Kaprizov would have been on this team is um, Kaprizov's a gold medalist. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he would yes, have been there. 
And you cannot tell me that the only thing that Ovechkin needs to do in this, in this hockey world is he needs that gold medal. And he's not going to be over so cheap. I bet he's been boiling about that. This is the last, like the last sort of dance for Ovechkin trying to get that medal. And I think he's going to be on a rampage for it. And I think it's going to be exciting to watch. It'll be, it'll be interesting. I think you make a good point about their, their like Tampa Bay. Like I think this team of the three teams we've looked at is the one designed most similarly, similarly like an NHL team, just mm-hmm. because as you go down the lineup, the depth begins to disappear. Yeah. <laughs> Man, Kuznetsov really hurt this team. Yeah, Kuznetsov kind of really boned the Russians. I did not know that Nemesikov was a center, by the way. Yeah. That, that must be a recent development. That is, I don't believe He was drafted that. as a center. Was he? Yeah. I guess when, you know, when you're playing behind, like, point in uh, scam coach, you never really get the chance, right? And then who's watching you in Vegas and all that and then, you know, that kind of stuff. And But, yeah, if you want to know about Finland and Sweden – Eric Carlson is on Team Sweden, by the way, and I'm happy about that. But um, yeah, Spoiler. 